hardware and this is my computer in Fusion 360 again. I'm playing around with Archimedean Solid still. So this is the cube octahedron, truncated cube and truncated octahedron. I'm putting them in the same video because they are they're not the same shape but they are based on the same two solids. It's a cube and octahedron having fun with each other in different ways. If you be turn it around about you I think you can see the cube. There's the cube, there's the cube, and there's the cube. So in the first one hand cube octahedron, they are just having fun with each other. In the truncated cube, octahedron is a bit bigger and just cuts off the corners of the cube and here's the other way around. The octahedron is the small one, the cube is truncated. The, the vertices of the tops of it. So we are gonna start doing a new design and do the sketches. So let's do that. We are starting with a sketch on the yeah, bottom plane or anywhere. And as you know, I love circumscribed polygons. It makes life easier doing this. For size, we need a square. We're going to lock it in horizontally. And we're going to start dimension with it once. This is going to be the base for the cube. I'm going to do it 100 millimeters. So this is my square for the cube I'm going to do. Now I will do the sketching for the octahedron, the same midpoint, also four sides, turn it around a bit, make sure that this corner gets horizontal to the midpoint, and we're going to need a line, this line is used to get the height of octahedron, so we're going to do it into construction line, and we're going to make it the same length, I'm choosing this one, uh, equal, uh, you're going to see later, so I have to remember I choose this to be equal one because I'm going to cut one of the lines later. And uh, that's all we need in this base sketch. So let's finish sketch. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is sketch on this plane. We're going to do some positions. This sketch is for the height of everything. We're going to need the tip of octahedron and the side length. We're going to need the midpoint and we're going to need the side of a cube. And we're going to do some circles. The first circle is, let's do the octahedron. This circle we're going to use to get the height of the octahedron. The second circle we're going to do is for the cube. And we're going to do a line. Turn off construction. And this is going to be my path for the sweep I will do later. Let's make it horizontal. Constrain it to the side points so it doesn't move around and gets the correct length. So this is the side length of the cube. And the next thing we're going to do, let's zoom out a bit, we're going to do a line, this circle, this we're going to turn into a construction line, make it horizontal, and then constrain it to the midpoint of the both cubes. And we are done. That's our sketches. So I'm going to create the solid straight away. Uh, I'm going to do a sweep first of all to create the cube. Uh, that's our profile and that's the path and we are done. New body of course. Uh, we're going to hide that body as we will do the uh, octahedron now. Uh, we're going to use the loft command. Uh, I'm going to loft, yeah, I choose both profiles and the tip. That's the top of loft and we're going to do the loft again. I, I could do a mirror but I like doing loft here because then I get the uh, join command so it by itself creates a new body. So now we have the two bodies and the cube is slightly poking out and the last thing we're going to do is a combine of these two bodies and intersect. So that is our first part of body. Now the, the dimensions are wrong of the octahedron, so now we go back to do the first thing we're going to do. The sketches are finished, and let's take a look at it. The first one we're going to do is the cube octahedron here. They're, they're, yeah, they are made together in a nice way. Not anything sticking out too much, so let's go back. We will go back to our first sketch. This is quite easy. The only thing we do is constrain the side of the octahedron to a point on the cube, the square for the cube, and we are done. Finish. Let's turn off the sketches. 
this is the cube octahedron and we can also check of course the dimension first of all we made it 100 millimeters flat side to flat side that's correct and we can check the sides at any two sides we choose are 70.11 millimeters so they, the sides are all the same so the math is correct let's go back let's close that and just check once more so you are this is cube octahedron you constrain the side of octahedron to one of the points of the square for the cube that's the cube octahedron now we're going to move over to the truncated cube and as you can see the octahedron needs to be bigger but how much bigger first of all we need to remove the constraint we made earlier so i'm going to choose the line and the point and there pops up the constraints i'm going to remove that so now we can move we square in and out again uh, and the distance we need is the square root of the side of the cube needs to be the distance from the flat side of a cube to the point of octahedron so let's find the square root of the side which you do by taking a midpoint to a midpoint line in 45 degrees angle this is the square root of the side of the square and we're going to make another line from here out to here also construction line and then we're going to make these two equal and finish catch and see if it works yeah i hope it's great let's do some inspections uh, these two lines 41.421 41.421 let's choose another edge over here same dimension yep all the dimensions are the same so we have octagons and triangles for faces and this is the truncated cube if i said something wrong we should do something let's go back to the sketch once more so what we did here was what we made the square root of the side with this line and then made a line from the side of the square for the cube out to the point of the square for the octahedron i hope you're following along this gets confusing sometimes so that was the truncated cube now we'll do the truncated octahedron the last one let's go back to our sketch remove our little lines and uh, now this needs a bit of breaking that's why i need to remember that i made this line equal to this one because i need to manipulate one of the sides of the octagon let's pull it out a bit i'm going to delete the side and make a new because i need to split this side into three parts because one third of octahedron needs to hit the side of the cube so what i do I make three lines and then I constrain them perpendicular perpendicular and then choose all three lines and make them equal as a finishing thing I'm gonna make a point I don't really even need to do a point but it feels better to do a point here so I can do a constraint between this point and the side of the square for the cube a lot of confusing. I hope I say things right now because I get confused sometimes. So what is happening here is that one third of this sketch line is here, one third is here, and one third is here. So if we finish this sketch, we get a truncated octahedron. And we check here once again. Uh, 35.3555, 35.3555. We can choose some other edge, and they are the same. And as the last thing, of course, flat side to flat side is still 100 millimeter. So that was the truncated octahedron. And let's once more like a look at sketch. If you didn't remember, I split this side into three pieces and one third here I made a point and constrained it to the side of the cube. So that are these three Archimedean solids. Hope you enjoyed it. See you around. Bye.